Let's go. Detroit balling. It's part of the culture. It's a deep base. The trade you in the poster. You know the facts. So while we test the roaster. Killing your haze. Deadly handles our exposure. True composure. Team stack to win the chip. Act like I ain't told you. First round. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Piston Mike. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell button for your boy, 60 Seven percent of you guys are not subscribed. I don't know why it don't cost you anything, not even a nickel or a dime. Let's get into today's video. So six um defenders that the Pistons should go after 2022 NBA free agency. Man, number one is Robert Covington. Um he might be out of price range depending on what moves the Pistons do. But he, he probably will get looks from every contender who's trying to upgrade their defense. He's a really good defender, really long um, wing who can stretch it out. So it should be interesting. But before you do all that, click the link in the description for some cool Piston gear. Also, go subscribe to Piston Weekly Report. And also, 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 go follow my Twitter, Mr. Black Platinum. Let's get into it. So... Yeah, man, number one is Robert Covington. We'll see what happens with um if we could get him. But number two is Bruce Brown. I hate to say it, but I don't think we should ever trade away Bruce Brown. Troy Weaver traded him due to him having a bad, I believe, uh, a bad um training camp. Um but Bruce Brown is your guy who's going to give you really good um, minutes. He kind of reminds you of Marcus Spark. Um, you know, um, okay on offense, really good on defense, really can help out. Guy that does all the um, dirty work. Um, I really like like Bruce Brown a lot, but, you know, I, I doubt it he comes back to Detroit, but we, we could see if we could get him. Still fairly young, um, doing a really good job on the net. So, hey, yeah. Number three is Hassan Whiteside, 1.6 blocks over, I believe, 18 minutes a game. Just a, a center who can come off the bench and provide you defense. We need defense acres and all that. Number three, um, Chris, um, I think Chris, Chris Botcher from or from – Toronto, um, decent rim protector, still young, can be fairly cheap. His um, shooting came down a lot, but he's still really young in 25. Um, he shot 38% from three last year. Should be really interesting to see what happens with him. Um, Daniel House is another one that would be really good for the Pistons. I don't think we're keeping Hamadou or Josh Jackson. I think one of them might be gone or both of them might be gone if I'm telling you the truth. So that's just my opinion about it. Um, we got to do a lot of bigger moves. We got a lot, a lot of moves to make to get this team better. And um, I just don't see how they stay on this team if we can get better players who can fit their role. But hold on. Kevon Looney is also another one. Um, he is a great team defender, posting at 1.104 rating, defensive rating last year for the Warriors. Can play both big man spot, um, both big man spots. Kind of tough guy. Might be out of Warriors price range, especially with them keeping James Wiseman down the pipeline. line. Could be a cheap. Guy is a better defender than people give him credit for. So, who knows? We'll see what happens if the Pistons could get one of these guys. We need more defensive players and more. Um, some of these guys can stretch the floor, so it should be interesting off season. Let me know what you guys think. It's your boy Piston Mike. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell button. I'm out, man. Peace.
Pissy Mike, we take your flight. Click like and subscribe, we can keep you right. Yes, Pissy Mike.